Poppleton by Cynthia Ryland, illustrated by Mark Teague. Neighbors. Poppleton used to be a city pig. He did city things. He took taxis. He jogged in the park. He went to museums. Then one day, Poppleton got tired of city life. He moved to a small house in a small town. Poppleton's small house was charming. It had a little sunroom where Poppleton took naps. It had lots and lots of shelves where Poppleton kept things. It had a little garden where Poppleton planted corn. And it had Cherry Sue. Cherry Sue was Poppleton's new neighbor. Cherry Sue was very friendly. In the morning, she called out, Yoo-hoo, Poppleton, would you like some oatmeal? So Poppleton had oatmeal with Cherry Sue. In the afternoon, she called out, Yoo-hoo, Poppleton, would you like a toasted cheese? So Poppleton had toasted cheese with Cherry Sue. At night, she called out, Yoo-hoo, Poppleton, would you like spaghetti? So Poppleton had spaghetti with Cherry Sue. This went on day after day. At first, it was fun, but not for long. Some mornings, Poppleton did not want oatmeal. He wanted to sleep. And some afternoons, Poppleton did not want toasted cheese. He wanted TV. Some nights, Poppleton did not want spaghetti. He wanted to practice playing his harmonica. But Cherry Sue kept calling, Yoo-hoo, Poppleton! One day, when Poppleton was watering his lawn, Poppleton couldn't take it anymore. When Cherry Sue stuck her head out the window and yelled, Yoo-hoo! Poppleton soaked her with the water hose. Poppleton, cried Cherry Sue, dripping. Poppleton felt awful. He ran to get a towel for Cherry Sue. I'm sorry, Cherry Sue, said Poppleton. I just got so sick of toasted cheese and spaghetti and oatmeal. Sometimes I just like to be alone. You too, said Cherry Sue. I kept inviting you over because I didn't know how to stop inviting you over, she said. I thought it might hurt your feelings. Then Poppleton soaked himself with the hose. They laughed and laughed. Poppleton and Cherry Sue were best friends from then on.